The scaling debate is an interesting topic that has got extremely heated over the last few months, with advocates from both sides putting forward valid points. Personally, I don't think it's a binary decision. One way is not always better than the other. In each example, there are trade-offs, and depending on your position, you will likely decide in favour of one or the other. In this video, we'll have a look at some of these arguments and identify why Decred has taken its scaling route. Scaling Layer 1 – Block Size, Speed, Sharding and Pruning Advocates of Layer 1 scaling will usually point to the fact that if you have larger blocks that are mined more frequently, you can scale to accommodate a global economy. This of course is true, but there are side effects that should be considered. First being is this action will lead to extremely large blockchains that will no longer be able to be run from home on a personal computer. Instead, the blockchain will need to be housed in a data center. This will increase centralization that will eventually prevent peer-to-peer -peer transactions in their purest sense. People in favor of layer one scaling will also point to pruning and sharding solutions, which allow the network to remove transactions from a particular time and distribute the ledger among various machines. The main risk here will come down to incorrect pruning, distribution and ledger manipulation. One possibility is the history of coins gets distorted and there are limited ways to validate correctness due to the history of these transactions no longer being available in their fullest state. One example where I see this being a huge problem is with privacy coins or blockchains that have privacy features. Privacy transactions that have been completely anonymized to the point it's impossible to tell which coins belong to which balances makes this solution almost impossible to deploy with 100% accuracy. Non-scaling layer 1 blockchains Advocates for not scaling layer 1 will normally point out the opposite to scaling issues. For instance, leaving the blocks small and having a longer time between blocks will lead to a significantly smaller blockchain. If the blockchain remains small enough to run on a home computer, this will preserve the peer-to-peer -peer nature of the network. The downside is that blocks will fill quickly if the project becomes popular, transactions will take longer to process, and transaction fees will become expensive. If you're a non-scaling advocate, you need to realize what you put on chain has to be limited and data efficient. It's for this reason, non-scaling layer ones are not efficient at storing small or micro transactions or being used to store excessive data like images, audio, and video. Layer twos. For non-scaling layer 1 blockchains, layer 2 solutions become essential for the purpose of growth and additional use cases. These solutions allow for extensive transaction activity with no data weight being passed to the blockchain. Advocates for scaling blockchains are mainly against layer 2 solutions due to the fact they facilitate uses and use cases that can be conducted on-chain on the layer 1. For scaling blockchains, layer 2 solutions are considered an unnecessary fragmentation of liquidity for the entire network. Scaling advocates will also point to the fact that these solutions are taking fees and rewards away from the miners and validators, which in turn reduces profitability for these entities and reduces security for the network. The same is not necessarily true for non-scaling blockchains, as the expectation for fees and block rewards are mostly predetermined. Although miners would like full blocks, layer 2 functionality is not taking away this profitability. In fact, having layer 2 functionality adds and increases the transaction count as these solutions become more popular. The Lightning Network In my opinion, the Lightning Network is currently the best solution for non-scaling blockchains, as it has the most development and has been vigorously tested. The Lightning Network is definitely not perfect and can be improved with time and the use of additional opcodes. If you have a use case that involves frequent, micro and instant transactions, as is the case with Bison Relay, you literally can't do this on-chain with non-scaling blockchains. But the Lightning Network does this with ease and adds no bloat back to the chain. The Lightning Network conducts the bulk of its transaction activities off-chain, periodically settling on-chain as a single transaction. This basically means you can conduct thousands of transactions off-chain and when ready, bundle all of this activity back to the blockchain in a single transaction, effectively acting as an efficient pruning solution for participating coins. The Lightning Network enables blockchains like Decred to facilitate new peer-to-peer -peer use cases like social media, tipping, messaging, file sharing, and marketplaces without adding undesirable bloat. Value extraction. How do people benefit from a blockchain scaling or not scaling? In the scaling world, value extraction is big money. 
If a scaling blockchain removes layer two solutions, all value extraction from transactions and block production will be conducted on layer one. Value extractors would no longer have to split their investment between the most popular layer twos and the layer one. In the non-scaling world, profits are made by block production rewards and transaction fees. On some blockchains, miners are incentivized to fill blocks and the mempool. To increase a fee, a user will pay for a transaction to be processed. This can be done in several ways, for example, producing empty blocks, not accepting transactions with low fees, or dumping excessive data into the mempool to increase the minimum fee to get a transaction added to a block. As a side note, Decode has written consensus rules to mitigate against these scenarios and shenanigans. These rules are enforced by proof of stake validators. Layer twos deliver worse user experiences. This is an easy theory to dismiss and is mostly nonsense. A user only needs to try buy some relay to know that layer two applications offer an equal user experience to layer one applications. Although it's fair to say, until using Bison Relay, my experience of the Lightning Network had been fragmented at best. Bison Relay shows the true potential of what can be achieved with the Lightning Network and how streamlined the Layer 2 experience has become. Why did Decred choose the Lightning Network to scale? Although Decred handles on-chain transactions very efficiently and is a long way from having full blocks, if and when the network gets popular, it will face similar issues to the majority of blockchains, congested blocks with high fees. Decred is building a digital ecosystem with a wide array of user experiences and use cases, like Bison Relay. These kinds of user experiences can't be built on chain, as there is a need to process high volumes of transactions, thousands per second, most of which are microtransactions. In its current state of development, the Lightning Network is already capable of processing thousands of transactions every second. Without the Lightning Network, Decode's current layer one consensus configuration is set to process approximately five transactions per second, or approximately 1,500 transactions per block. This can be scaled to process more transactions with a consensus vote if needed. But on-chain transactions, including microtransactions, would still be slow and expensive to process. For example, a one atom transaction would cost more than a thousand atoms in fees. On the Lightning Network, this same transaction can be achieved at the cost of one atom and processed almost instantly. In conclusion, and in my opinion, layer two solutions offer a lot of hope for the future and are probably our best opportunity to remain true to a peer-to-peer -peer economy. My main concern regarding scaling layer ones revolves around the need to house their infrastructure in data centers when the blockchain becomes too large. This will essentially remove the peer-to-peer -peer permissionless nature of the blockchain. What do you think? Are layer two solutions the future or should we scale the blockchain at layer one?